Hi, I'm Lauren Diffendorfer, and I'm the medical educator at the DIS Foundation and NHCPS. Hi everyone, this is Lauren Diffendorfer, the medical educator here at the DIS Foundation, where our primary mission is to empower people to save lives by providing health care education to underserved areas both domestic and abroad. Welcome to our webinar, and today we're going to talk about the importance of learning CPR. So to begin, let's start with what exactly is CPR? CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Essentially, CPR combines chest compressions and rescue breathing to deliver oxygen to the body during cardiac arrest. And as you can see, CPR has several functions and provides much more support than many people think. CPR does more than just keep the heart pumping. Staying current on CPR is very important. Memory of CPR skills can deteriorate as early as three months after training. Thus, it is recommended that you relearn CPR at most every two years. Every single year, 92,000 people in the U.S. alone are saved by people from doing CPR, like nurses, but also bystanders and neighbors. Other fast facts on CPR to know are that 75% of all cardiac arrests occur inside the victim's own home. So that means that the person you save with CPR will most likely be someone you know or love. CPR can also double a person's chance of survival from sudden cardiac arrest. So this is why we work to teach more people CPR. Um, however, the issue still remains. 70% of Americans feel helpless during a cardiac emergency. And this is often because they don't know CPR or haven't relearned it. And thus, only 32% of cardiac arrest victims get CPR from a bystander. And without CPR, the victim faces death. Unfortunately, this results in less than 8% of cardiac arrest victims surviving. So, here's some common fears as to why people don't act during a cardiac emergency. Many people are scared of getting disease from the victim, who may be a complete stranger. And although disease is unlikely, there are barrier devices that you can use or you can do hands-only CPR. Others are scared of being liable for the death of the victim. But there's the Good Samaritan Act, and since it's been passed, there has been no records of anyone being held liable while being a Good Samaritan. Some people are unsure of their skills and they're worried that they might hurt or kill the victim, but it's important to remember here that the victim's dying and that you can only help at this point. Um, but however, in the case of an unsafe scene, you should not help. Um, this is the only time that you really shouldn't help because you don't want to become a victim yourself. CPR saves lives, and that's why it's very important for everyone to learn. Um, more often than not, during out-of-hospital occurrences, cardiac arrest victims do not receive the care they need. And this is often because many individuals do not know CPR or do not feel confident in their ability to perform it. However, immediate intervention can save a life. And without it, brain damage is almost certain to be the result if the victim does not receive CPR after 10 minutes of cardiac arrest. Um, CPR improves the victim's chance of surviving because it helps deliver oxygen and through the blood to the body and then Combined with the use of an AED, it can restore normal heart rhythm and bring the person actually back to life. We offer online CPR certification on our site. You can find a link in the description, and we encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, either in a classroom or on your own time with an online course, because we want you to be able to have the ability to save lives. So thank you for tuning in and catch up with us in two weeks for our next webinar on adult CPR. Mm -hmm.